Okay. Uh, this configuration consists of uh, low voltage system, 400 volt, and uh, induction motor, 200 horsepower induction motor, and I have capacitor bank. Capacitor bank rated to uh, 66 kilobar, connected directly on motor terminal directly on motor terminal uh, this breaker will be closed all the time of simulation and this breaker will be uh, first connection at time equal to one second then breaker off at 20 seconds of simulation time so by this way I want to simulate self excitation phenomena self excitation phenomena due to uh, capacitor bank connected directly on motor terminal also this kind of resonance when breaker mean breaker here switch it off and capacitor bank is still connected with motor so this phenomena called self excitation all right uh, this simulation will be simulated on vscat version 5 all previous videos all previous simulation done on vscat version 4.5 Today, first simulation on BSCAD version 5. And here is your educational edition license. And this simulation already I built it on BSCAD older version and just open it by newer version. So let us go to simulation to run simulation uh, my simulation time 50 second uh, after 20 second this breaker will be switched off so I have measurement here for graph for power current volt for current at one second no this is a voltage yeah this is a motor current As you can see, it's a rush current. This motor rated to this motor rated to 200 horsepower. 200. That means uh, 250 ampere rated current. Okay. And here I have torque 0.4 slip 0.02. And it's beat one per unit. That means 50 hertz. That means one. 1500 okay this is rush current the rush current more than 1500 and this is rush current decay about two to three seconds to normal uh, normal current here about 200 ampere big to big 200 ampere and because this uh, motor not at full load not at full load just like 80 percent loading all right here this is a starting power and the starting power contain of reactive power about 150 kilobar and about only 75 
kilowatt and normal power when motor reach ready the speed only 50 kilowatt and kilobar zero because already the power factor corrected unity okay so what's the consequence of this breaker when make it off make it off at time 20 20 the normal voltage around 0.5 or uh, 500 from peak to peak but when motor is switched off at time 20 you see we have voltage 1 kilo volt peak to peak that means about 1000 over 1.414 as RMS value around 700 volt so this motor insulation of this motor stress it because now the voltage big to big one thousand volt this self excitation and this uh, phenomena start here and go about one second about one second and then decay to zero volt because no power supply no power breaker switch it off let us check as you can see here this uh, about uh, uh, this capacitor will face 435 around 66 kilobar we needed to correct this motor to unity and the discharge resistance about 200 kilo ohm this discharge resistance calculated by this formula we have here IEC standard that means we need to connect resistance across capacitor pan to reduce the voltage or the voltage not exist 75 volt after three minutes since it disconnected so by this formula for uh, 50 kilo bar in 400 voltage about 265 66 kilo ohm. but this older standard newer standard IEC 70 for here only for one minute I need the discharge voltage to be less than 50 volt so the resistance should be 75 kilo ohm but this resistance calculated by older standard of IEC all right so what will happen if this capacitor disconnected with that mean just only close for 20 seconds that means no self excitation phenomena first after one second this breaker will be on and remain connected you see at 20 seconds the main breaker is switched off and also the capacitor bank that means I connect capacitor bank by some kind of a switching contactor what else uh, we can see here at one second the voltage applied to motor and capacitor and at 20 second 20 second no over voltage and no 
any kind of self excitation also in current law any just the only when this breaker is still connected still connected with motor then we get self excitation you can see again we get over voltage due to self excitation actually no power no voltage from power supply this voltage because of capacitor bank connected with motor this phenomena depend on the amount of capacitor bank which connected with motor second on motor inertia or load inertia also and also on discharge resistance all of the, all of this condition that means depend on capacitor bank depend on motor inertia depend on discharge resistance we can get self excitation or not Also, I want to mention uh, this uh, rush current or starting current of motor not contains any kind of harmonics, not like transformer. We know transformer rush current contain of harmonics, specifically second order harmonics. Okay, let us try another case just by reducing the kilobar rating of capacitor bank to 33 half of this value, 33 or 30 kilobar. That means capacitance should be 220 microfarad. And let us see what will happen for this phenomena. As we can see at 20 seconds, no self excitation occurred. No self excitation occurred. But here, the power factor. We, as we can see, this motor need 45 or 41 kilowatt and 12 kilowatt from supply. Before the kilowatt is zero because the motor take reactive power from capacitor but not from power supply. So this phenomena now eliminated. Just we have to avoid the config this configuration. We have to avoid this conf uh, configuration. It's better to connect a booster bank with breaker, contactor, any kind of switching. That means when the board supply is switched off, also at the same time. The capacitor bank contactor or breaker is switched off immediately. Let us so we go back to 60, 66 kilowatt. That means microfarad is 437. That means now the power factor corrected from 0.8 or 0.85 to 
true unity. Now on condition of self excitation satisfied. Breaker switch it off. Capacitor bank connected to motor terminal. As you can see, the motor there is over voltage for this motor and maybe the maybe insulation failure for motor winding. And also we can see here there is a current but less than rated current of the motor and decay to zero. So if we apply the new standard of IEC that means instead of 200 kilo ohm only 75 kilo ohm discharge resistance Okay, 75, 75 kilo ohm, and also the third one, 75 kilo ohm. And let us check. We know in all kind of resonance, in low voltage system, the resistance it will damp, it will make damping for this kind of phenomena but still still there is over voltage so at the end we have to avoid this kind of configuration in low voltage system or in medium voltage system all right even this motor with low inertia now for 200 horsepower the inertia okay in BS cut for uh, induction motor uh, the model we have three model in this cut simulation. I'm using this one, MTB Type 40, and for MTB Type 40, and uh, from from that sheet of induction motor, I found the inertia is about rotor inertia about 220 kilogram meter square this is the unit of inertia we have two kind of we can enter the inertia by second or by kilogram meter meter square as in synchronous machine in synchronous generator so anyway I have to avoid this kind of configuration and uh, thank you for watching and attention.